So when I played golf as a kid, there was two golf balls I desperately wanted to use. There was the Titleist Professional and also the Strata Tour Professional. Both balls were very premium and they were the absolute best ball you could buy. But unfortunately, they were quite expensive. So as a young kid, I ended up finding myself using golf balls like Top Flight or Pinnacle, whatever I could get my hands on. Now, as we know, Top Flights back then were like bricks. They were hard as nails. But because of that, they seem to go a long way. Now, I've not seen Top Flight for years, certainly not here in the UK. And I was online recently over in the, on a US website and I saw Top Flight had brought some brand new balls out. So a good follower of mine, Danny, sent me a box and here they are. These are the new Top Flight Gamer golf ball. Now, I'm intrigued to test these and give them a proper review from on the putting green all the way to the tee because there's a couple of things in this golf ball that intrigue me. So first thing, it looks like Top Flight have had a bit of a rebrand. This pack is uh, looks a little bit gimmicky with this guy playing air guitar with his golf club on the front. It definitely looks like it's trying to attract a new different audience. Now this box is a little bit battered and scratched, but it has been shipped over from the US, so it's just had a little bit of damage in transit. Now it's a three-piece performance golf ball. And there's a little bit of spiel on the back. There's one thing that very much intrigues me. Get this, it rates itself an 11 out of 10 for distance. Now that is a bold claim. So this is saying it's a distance ball. Now when we open it up, I've had a quick glance at this golf ball already. The other thing that really does interest me, it doesn't just look like a normal golf ball. The dimple pattern is very interesting. There's almost little circular dimples inside the main dimple. And it almost from first glance, it looks much more like a, a Bridgestone golf ball. Now it'd be interesting to see what that dimple pattern does for ball performance, certainly off the tee. But first, let's see if this top flight golf ball feels any better than what it used to. Like I mentioned, it used to feel like a brick back in the day. So I'm going to test this from the putting green, see what it feels like around the green on short shots, hit some iron shots and see what the spin's like. And also, without question, test this 11 out of 10 performance off the tee for distance. Now, price-wise, a box of these, as I, again, I bought them in America, they were $22 for a box, so around about £20 a box. Now, that's a decent, affordable price, so if the performance is any good, it might not just be a walk down memory lane, it actually might be a decent ball. Let's start off with putting first. So let's talk about feel around the green first. Well, it's one of two things. Either my memory's not as good as it used to be, or the feel of these isn't as hard as a brick as they used to be. Like I said, when I used to test them, they used to feel like rock hard. These feel better than that. Not perfect, not soft by any means, by the way, but not terrible. So that's chipping and putting done. Now I'm gonna hit some shots into this par three, see how they fly, to see if these aerodynamic dimples make a difference, how they spin into this green as well. And then I'm gonna do a durability test before chopping one in half, before getting it onto the tee and smashing it with driver. Okay, 150 yards, a tying in hand. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's unbelievably close. So five out of six on the green and one unbelievably close to going in. You know what, the ball flew well. Like, I don't feel like they're a short ball whatsoever. I felt like in today's conditions, it might not get there with nine, but comfortably got there with nine iron. 
uh, flew through the air nice. It seemed, the ball seemed very stable. It didn't seem to move much in the air. Really impressed. I think now we need to check durability before testing it with driver on GC Quad. For me, I'm intrigued about that because there might be something in this dimple pattern. Who knows? Who, know, who thought a top flight would be so good so far? Wow, look how close that one was. Easy tapping birdie. I'll repair these pitch marks. Now, without being too judgmental, the golfer that probably buys this golf ball for 20 odd pound a dozen probably would lose it before they would need to worry about durability issues. However, ball review, I'm gonna test it for durability. 10 shots out the bunker, just to see how this cover can take the strain. Let's see if it's, uh, see if it's any good. So after 10 shots in the bunker with the top flight, it's done okay. Not brilliant, but probably better than expected. There's a couple of little scuff marks, but overall impressed. I just can't believe I'm saying this so far. Like I'm impressed with this top flight golf ball. I can't wait to see what it does off the tee. If it gets anywhere close to the 280 yard mark I normally hit with driver, I've got to give this ball a glowing review. But before we get to that, let's chop it in half. Now I know that they brought out a version that was a urethane cover, but they kind of sacked it off and brought out this version, which is not urethane. And I think that's helped with the durability a little bit. Apparently it's three piece construction. What are we going to see inside? Well, we'll see exactly that. Three covers. We've got the outer cover, the inner mantle, and then the main mantle. And everything looks in order. Everything looks nice and symmetrical. Not much else to report there. Right, let's get to the tea. So driver distance with the top flight balls. I was getting average carry distance, 275 yards, just under 160 miles per hour ball speed and spin rate around 2,200. So not bad. I've also just come down to pick up the balls and they're all about this kind of mark at around two, between 270 and 280. Now on the box, you saw it promised 11 out of 10 on distance. I wouldn't say it's 11 out of 10 on distance. I would expect that then to go further than what I saw today. But to be honest, not bad. Probably around about an eight or a nine out of 10 for distance for me. Now, I can't believe I'm saying this. And I, if I rewind time to Rick as a kid, I can't believe I would ever be saying this. I actually think these top flight balls are really good. Like they do everything they should do. They're not as hard as a brick anymore. They are a very playable golf ball. And for the price, they're not a bad option. Be interesting to see where they go next. Guys, thanks for watching. Stay tuned, lots more to come. That was my full review of the top flight game of ball.